Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me, hey, I got to look at the right camera. Joining me this morning is uh, Chief of Police Chad Brecklin. Thank you for being a support. You're sitting here watching this train wreck happen, and you're just like, yeah, you know, it's happening. No train wreck at all, but I will remind you we are now in afternoon hours. Oh, okay. Did I say good morning? You did, as a matter of fact. I'm really good at that, too. I'm, I'm all over the place. You're still just fresh and ready to start your day, so you, that's why it feels like morning. You know what's happening, and I can't complain, because you guys in public safety, you know, you work nonstop, but... You know, worked a super long day yesterday, and mm -hmm. I'm checking out here at 12:30, mm -hmm. and I already checked out about two hours ago. Yeah. So well, I'm just uh, you know phoning it in, as they say today, right? The clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, on a serious note mm -hmm. here, I appreciate you stopping up, sure. and uh, we got a, a re a release this morning on a, on an update on a mm -hmm. car theft uh, that a child will happen to be in the car. I was hoping that you'd be able to comment on on uh, that. Yeah, so uh, I think it was in December, I believe, where it was the case where there was a car uh, parked and left running in the parking lot of uh, Head Start, which is over on Red Arrow Trail. And uh, there was a seven-month-old baby that was left in the car while a parent ran in to grab a couple of other kids. Car had been taken, uh, driven for a very short distance. It's our belief that whoever took that car uh, recognized that there was an infant in the car, stopped driving the car, and then uh, put the infant down in uh, uh, outside of the car near the building. So we continue to investigate that and we've actually done quite a bit of extensive work with a lot of our law enforcement partners. Uh, we've been working with community stakeholders, uh, juvenile justice um, uh, system uh, folks, human services folks as well uh, to really try to combat uh, the issues that we're seeing with stolen autos and juveniles in particular. Um, so through some in, uh, continued investigative work, uh, Officer Jordan Trundle has been assigned to this uh, particular issue and this of stolen autos uh, since the start of the year. And uh, he was able to do some investigative work along with other staff in our department and, and other departments, and it ultimately led to the arrest of, of this 14-year-old uh, juvenile female for this particular crime. Yeah, I know it's been, a, it's been the talk of the town for quite a bit, mm -hmm. and I know there's a lot of work been happening behind the scenes, so... Um, thank you for the update on that. Yeah, I mean, just, just a bit of scope on this whole thing. You know, we had about 24 stolen automobiles in 2016, and we climbed all the way to 67 in 2017, with about 37 of those 67 be, uh, happening since September 1st. Wow. So, and uh, our year has started off uh, not so hot as well. I think we had 9 or 10 stolen automobiles we did in January. So. We're doing what we can. Like I said, we're taking a, a really a multifaceted approach and trying to involve as many uh, stakeholders from a variety of disciplines and areas to try to combat this problem. Well, and that will lead into the next point that I have for mm -hmm. us to talk about the, uh, today. I almost said this morning. You see it coming. Huh? I tried okay. to help you out. Uh, and it's uh, see something, say something, mm -hmm. I think plays really good into, into this. And with everything happening from school shootings mm -hmm. to to these uh, auto thefts and more. Um, I just thought, yeah. again, another opportunity for if you could share how important it is, uh, no matter what the tip is or what right. you see. Yeah, well, obviously there's only so many police officers on duty in Fitchburg or in any given community at any given time. So there's a so-called force multiplier is the people who live, work, or visit a particular uh, community, area, business, event, whatever the case may be those uh, extra sets of eyes are really important to the overall safety of everyone. And if you see something, please say something. It doesn't matter how insignificant or how you may tend to justify uh, the appearance of whatever you're seeing, because we all as humans want to do that. We want to justify that, hey, this isn't, this isn't anything I don't need to call or I'm gonna be bothering public safety. You're not a bother to us. We would much rather know about something. We can send staff to take a look at it and evaluate it. And if it's nothing, great, we, t we checked it out, but perhaps there is something to it. And as we all know in this day and age, whether it be um, uh, crime such as the stolen automobile problem we've talked about, burglaries or thefts or anything of that sort, uh, to the school shootings that we continue to see in this country, um, the more information that we get shared with us, the better uh, we are able to evaluate that and potentially stop something from happening or um, uh, hold folks accountable for some behavior that they should not have done, and or maybe in a case of a theft or burglary or stolen automobile, return some property to, to, the, to its rightful owner. Yeah, I think it's a great, great campaign, mm -hmm. um, very catchy, and yeah. again, 
no tip is you hey. not go unheard. Uh, there's just there's just so many great ways. Uh, we've got the uh, the information up here uh, as far as how to call. There's a statewide campaign as well hey. uh, going on through this, but you can always contact the police department. Uh, we also have um, you know if you want to submit a crime tip, sure. And sort, I, I've got that uh, queued up as well. Yeah, so yeah. if you do see something and you need that, communicate that. Um, what do you suggest? So we have several different ways that somebody in Fitchburg and or the Madison area can, can submit a tip. You can go on our website. Uh, there is a link to be able to submit tips. Uh, we uh, subscribe to a service that will collect uh, those tips for us and send them to us. Uh, you can text them to uh, the number on your screen, uh, I believe, that you have highlighted. Uh, there's a specific uh, number, and you just put in the name, the word Fitchburg in there, and then, again, that will get routed to us. We have a tip line that you can call and speak to a dispatcher in our dispatch center to provide a tip, and you can remain anonymous. And uh, the other uh, method that is available is to use Madison Area Crime Stoppers. They have both an online uh, website and also a phone number available as well. And again, through uh, Madison Area Crime Stoppers, you can remain anonymous as well. That makes it easy. Yeah, and I should add, even through the tips, uh, texting, and submitting through our website, all that can also be done anonymously too. So no one has to be concerned about uh, the police knowing who is making the tip. All right. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Breckman, for mm -hmm. stopping in and, and sticking with the show. You're going to stay right here. We're sure. not taking a break. 